the hydrosphere and the hydrological cycle. Hydrosphere comes from Greek hydor, water, and sphera, sphere. The term hydrosphere refers to the water on the Earth's surface, whether this be in a liquid, frozen or gas or water vapor form. Hydrosphere is what goes into the hydrological cycle, the water cycle. In physical geography, it describes the combined mass of water found on, under, and over the surface of a planet. Here is the proportion of all water on Earth, such as saline water, fresh water, and surface water. The hydrological cycle is the movement of water around the atmosphere, sea, and ground, in a continuous cycle. The process involves water going from the clouds, to vegetation, ground, soil, rock, sea lakes and rivers, and back to the clouds. Here is an illustration of the hydrological cycle or the water cycle. It involves processes such as evaporation, condensation, precipitation, surface runoff, subsurface runoff, and transpiration. Evaporation is the process in which liquid water becomes water vapor, a gas, Water vaporizes from the surfaces of oceans and lakes, from the surface of the land, and from melts in snow fields. Condensation is the process in which water vapor, a gas, in the air turns into liquid water. Condensing water forms clouds in the sky. Water drops that form on the outside of a glass of icy water or condensed water. Condensation is the process which creates clouds and so is necessary for rain and snow formation as well. Precipitation is the process in which water, in the form of rain, snow, sleet, or hail, falls from clouds in the sky. Surface runoff comes from rain, snow melt, or other forms of water, that flows in surface streams, rivers, or canals. Subsurface runoff comes from rain, snow melt, or other water that flows in underground streams, drains, or sewers. Transpiration is the process in which some water within plants evaporates into the atmosphere. Water is first absorbed by the plant's roots, then later exits by evaporating through pores in the plant. is an illustration of the hydrological cycle or the water cycle. It involves processes such as evaporation, condensation, precipitation, surface runoff, subsurface runoff, and transpiration. 